sick of wait, wait, waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? Okay. What more do I have to do to fix myself before I'm just allowed to be happy, before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me? How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? Wait, wait, waiting. How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? Wait, wait. Wow, sad woman, angry woman, frustrated woman. In her car on a rainy day. No man, damn. But let's go back to the beginning. Wait. Quick question, are you kidding me? Like, I am so sick and tired of just everything right now. Okay. I, everyone is so quick to say, stop doing this, stop thinking like this, stop doing, like, stop telling me I'm wrong. I have literally convinced myself at this point based on everything that everyone's telling me, my therapist, my family, my friends, that I'm just doing everything wrong. I'm healing mm. wrong. I'm thinking wrong. I'm training wrong. I'm, I'm doing relationships wrong. Everything I do is wrong and I'm so sick of it. Stop comparing. It's not even about comparison. Like I genuinely just want love in my life so badly it's literally not about anyone else. It's just about me. Me. It's just about her. But is there any room for a man? Does a man have room to be around her? Does he have room to be around you? Now, here we have a common person in modern dating. A woman. Me. A modern woman. Maybe very successful. Highly independent. Doesn't need a man. No, she doesn't, doesn't need one. Doesn't need one. So the narratives from her family, friend, even the therapist. My therapist, my family, my friends. They're not helping. Because even though she's told she does not need a man because she can do everything herself, the reality, the loneliness, it's still bothering her, isn't it? It's still bothering her. Look, there are a lot of women on the internet that make cap content for other women. Content that lies to them, that tell them what they want to hear, tell them what they don't need, to make them feel special, when really it's a lie. A lot of women are suffering in singledom and loneliness. Men and women, it's not just a one gender thing, a lot of people are single and lonely. But again, this woman was told a lot, promised so much, but the reality is hitting her right now. The harsh, hard, cold and bitter reality. It's not that easy, is it? And what I want, and, and being over the fact that I don't have it okay I feel like I have done so much work on myself I have built a beautiful life for myself I'm happy with my okay. life where I'm at my job I'm successful I'm independent okay I'm healthier than I've ever been nice I take such good care of myself good truly the only thing I'm missing in my life is someone to enjoy it with oh and I'm so sick of waiting. Like, when is it going to be my turn? What more do I have to do to fix myself before I'm just allowed to be happy, before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me? What women don't seem to understand, it doesn't matter how much you fix yourself. You can fix yourself, become the best, most supreme woman ever. Are you a woman that men want? Are you warm and welcoming? Do men want to take you out? Do men want to be around you? Again, to some degree, this woman is selfish. Me. Because she assumes a man should just manifest, literally just manifest out of nowhere. Because she's done the work, she's done this and done that. Look, as human beings, you can make yourself a better person. That doesn't mean anyone should want you though. Sadly, doesn't mean anyone should want you. It's like a lot of women are highly independent. They have everything, have a lot of money, a lot of resources themselves. But do a lot of men want them? No, because a lot of them are not appealing. They're not feminine. They're not warm, warming, welcoming. Because even though this woman is sad and in pain that, you know, she's single and she can't find someone, I'm not even insulting her because of that. I'm making the point that do women like this understand they still have to have space for a man? Radiate enough feminine energy to make a man want to be around her. Because sometimes there's nothing wrong with the woman. She has her life together, she looks good and everything, but it's like, the vibes are off. What more do I have to do to fix myself before I'm just allowed to be happy, before I'm allowed to meet this universe soulmate person that God supposedly has for me? How much harder do I have to pray and manifest and wait? I feel like I'm being punished for something I didn't do. And I'm just so tired, I'm so tired. I don't want, I don't expect a lot. I just want love in my life so bad. I want 
my life partner, I just, am I just supposed to be alone? Like, is that the message that this beautiful life I've built for myself, like it's just supposed to be me in it alone? Like, I know I have my dog and I love him so much, but like, I need love. Love. And sadly, this is partially why a lot of women will be single by 2030 and will never marry or have kids. Society's changed a lot. But the point women seem to miss is because it's changing, it was never going to change just for your benefit. Yeah, it's changed a lot. It didn't mean that automatically what men were going to appear that would automatically fit in the new world women wanted. Yeah, the world is changing, but it also means men are changing as well. And with standards, a lot of men want more. Some men just want something simple. Some men just want someone they can get along with. But too many men know and understand that you'd be lucky to find one. Other than that, it's pointless. It's a waste of your damn time. It's better to be a single man yourself. Because in finding her, you're just finding a woman that you just have to do for. All of my friends have their fiancés and their boyfriends and their husbands that they prioritize. Like, as far as I'm concerned, I've been left behind. And I really just want to find that person that matches my energy and wants to build a life with me. Is that so hard? I've been left behind. I'm going to say it. Some of you aren't going to hear it. You're not going to hear it till it's too late, but I'm going to say it. This okay. Gemini season is not good for falling in love. It's uh -huh. good for having fun, for expanding your roster, for flirting, for going on dates. Okay, let me stop her there. Everything she just said. The previous woman's breaking down, looking for something real and serious. I need love. This woman, mystical chick, astrology. <laughs> expanding your roster. Yeah. Of course, she's probably got a few crystals somewhere under her bed, you know, but she's saying, no, 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 free spirited with it. Don't settle down. Don't commit. Be free spirited, liberated with it. Liberate the WAP. Have a roster. Collect a few bodies over the summer. You know, don't settle down. This okay. Gemini season. What did she say? Aquarius is in the back garden. So it's, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know expanding your roster but think of how many women hear this conflicting advice every day when the reality is they just want a man it's gonna be really hard to pin something new down now that doesn't mean that something that starts this month can't grow into something later okay but try to hold off on the what are we conversation or you're gonna get some answers you might not like what are we wow what are we it's an interesting question that women ask because obviously as men we have the power of longer commitment deeper relationships marriage long-term things yeah expanding your roster you wonder the amount of women that ask that question what are we and a man responded yeah we're nothing we're absolutely nothing Never let a man tell you he doesn't want you more than once. Like, don't okay. be the girl that's hard to get rid of. You do not want to be that girl that is constantly nagging on this man. If he does not want you and he's showing you that he doesn't want you, turn the other direction and walk away because you don't want to let this man tell you more than once that he doesn't want you. Really, young woman? Really? I don't even know if her frontal lobe's developed yet. But really, come on. The chase is fun, isn't it? It's fun. Thrilling, it's exciting. Bit of chaos. Sprinkle some toxicity, some acid, yeah, some toxic acid, yeah, come on. Trippy. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic, but again, a common thing men say to women is pick better. A lot of women never really wanted to pick better. Better is not exciting. Better is boring until they're desperate. In fact, if you keep nagging him, you're actually doing the opposite and chasing him away. It will turn him off so fast if you are just constantly chasing him, begging him to stay. Because who wants to be with a guy who is indecisive of what they want and doesn't want to put in the effort to show you? that they really love and care about you even if this guy says that he really likes you and cares for you if he is showing if his actions are showing that he doesn't want you actions speak louder than words it also really? makes you look a little bit desperate if you're chasing after this man even after he's telling you he doesn't want you because it's because think about it when a guy is nagging girls like he is constantly texting you he's constantly bothering you you get irritated girls get irritated by that like girls don't like it when men are bombarding them with emotions so it's like the guys feel the same way. 
All right, young woman, you're quite sharp. You're quite sharp. But come on, don't give away the game. Come on, don't give away the game. It's no benefit if she's not a bit crazy over you. She's hooked on you and you barely care. No contact will do one of two things. A guy will either realize what he misses and want you back, or it'll show you a guy's true intentions. And if he doesn't reach out at all, then obviously he just didn't care. Because men always have two reactions to no contact. It's either, I actually really no. didn't like this girl, or it's, damn, I'm missing this girl. I really wish I had this girl. Like, I missed Aww. out and I fumbled. I hate when you warn a man that you're like off your rocker and you have a few screws loose and they don't f believe you. Wow. And then they go to f you over in some way. And then when you're f digging up their grandma and rolling her in a f wood, they stare at you real f crazy. Wow. Does she mean a backwood? Is she going to? I'm not even sure what that fully is. Does she mean she's going to roll up and smoke your, your dead grandma? There's, wow. Wow. And she's probably got a corpse grinder as well. She's going to crush up you. Oh my God. Oh, that is, wow. You can see the crazy in her eyes. And they don't f***ing believe you. Women. A lot of women. I believe you. I don't need any more convincing. I don't, I'm good. I don't need any more convincing. If women say they're crazy, hey, look. Hey, if you like yourself, I don't love it, but hey, cool. Take care. I believe you. Some men enjoy a bit of crazy. It's, I don't know, maybe it's men's version of enjoying a chaotic broad. Yeah. It's ridiculous, but hey, a bit of crazy. So long as she's not smoking your grandma. Now that you have no rims on your car, and I'm, because I posted them on Facebook Marketplace, uh, I'm the bad guy. Not the car. But I literally warned you, and they don't f***ing believe you. Look, smoking someone's grandma is ridiculous. Messing with a man's car, that is just, that's too far. That is, that is too far. That is too far. That is beyond crazy. Like this. It's getting weird. Part infinity. Would you pay four thousand dollars to swing big sticks and scream in the woods with the aim of releasing your anger? Yeah. So it's called the Rage Ritual Retreat, and the founder's name is Mia, and she describes herself as a spiritual fairy godmother and is known online as Mia Magic. Of course she is. Of course she is. Of course she's a mystical chick, spiritual chick, a magical. <laughs> this okay. Gemini season. A bit of a witch as well. <laughs> of course she is. Why not? I have no idea who this woman is. It's the first time I'm seeing this. Allegedly, allegedly though, allegedly. I wouldn't know. If she's had an interesting past, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising, would it? Wouldn't be, I mean, what spiritual, mystical chick that charges women $4,000 to scream in a forest and smack wood against the floor? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It fits. It fits her CV. It fits her resume. Right now, I feel angry. Right now, I feel everything whatever you're feeling let it out express yourself now participants are encouraged to scream to think of people and experiences that have wronged them and swing okay. big sticks for up to 20 minutes or until they can no longer move their arms as a way to release their emotions no one's gonna say but i'm gonna say it because i'm weird enough these women swinging and bashing a big stick there's a sexual connotation to it it's something to do with them destroying a man's thing all right you get the point it's ritualistic. It's a ritualistic retreat. It's women taking their power back by destroying a man's thing. Yeah? Destroying of knob. Well, get Rage it. rituals go down in the forest so that they don't have to worry about bothering people nearby. And if you're thinking of joining a rage ritual, the packages range from $2,000 to $4,000. Hmm. Right. <laughs> you probably get a smaller stick in the $2,000 package. From $2,000 to $4,000. When will she, will she be happy? I can't answer that. I have no answer to that. When would some of these women actually find a man? I can't answer that either. But I do know. Have. A nice day. I need love.